what's up my name is Technoba here for troubleshoot and welcome back to another video in this quick video i'll be going through a useful piece of software especially if you're someone who uses the keyboard far more than you do your mouse at least for me i hit start and type in programs that i want save obs and i'll click in it or hit enter and I use the keyboard to navigate my computer. A lot of people rely on desktop shortcuts, and of course, your desktop, like mine, will eventually become so cluttered you don't even use it. A good compromise is finding software that helps you around. Previously, someone created a plugin for my Techno account switcher for this program called Wox. Essentially, it's like Alfred or Launchy for Mac. You just hit a keyboard shortcut and a little window will pop up where you can search for something on the internet, on your file system in your computer, open up different programs, perform different functions, etc, etc. The only issue is, is that this project was last updated in 2018, which is now four, almost five years ago. So what else is there? Well, recently I came across Flow Launcher. It's another open source project. It looks really good and it's being updated really often. Essentially, you just hit a keyboard combination, a window pops up, you search for what you want, and of course you can interact with your PC, there's a plugin store, themes, etc. It's a really fleshed out bit of software that's actually really cool to use. So I'll be going through installing it and setting it up in this video here, and in the future maybe I'll build some sort of add-on for the aforementioned Techno Account Searcher. Anyways, in the description down below, you'll find a link to the flow.launcher page here on GitHub, as well as the website here. You can run these commands if you have Winget, Scoop, or Choco. Otherwise, you can download from GitHub, which will take you across to this page here. You simply need to look for releases on the right hand side and click the latest release here. Then in this new window, scroll down, we have the portable zip that you can put on a USB or simply run from a folder and the EXE right below it to install it. This is what we'll be clicking as we want to install it so it can automatically start with Windows. When the download completes, we can open the installer and just like that, an icon will appear on your desktop and we have the welcome to the flow launcher screen here. Choose a language, next. We can set a hotkey here by default it by default, it's Alt and Space. This is a pretty good combination. I wouldn't recommend changing it to Control or Shift, especially if you play games. Alt is a relatively good key here that's hard to press by accident, especially Alt and Space. Then we have some extra keyboard shortcuts over here. It's basically interacting with it, as well as autocomplete using Tab, opening the context menu and containing folder, running as admin, checking the history, reloading plugin data, etc as well as some action keywords and commands like running shell commands by adding a greater than sign before your command, short commands like SN for sticky notes, opening up a Windows settings results and results in Google, etc. Then finally, I'd recommend turning on the start flow launcher with system startup and hiding it on system startup, then done. At that point, it'll open up whenever you start up your PC, all you need to do is hit Alt and space to bring up the launcher as such. Downside of here, we can type in literally anything and it'll give us a couple of options here, like files on our PC, Google searches, programs, etc., etc. It's really powerful and that's really all there is to it. We have keyboard shortcuts. We can right click things to interact with them in different ways. Searching for settings, we can open up the settings to tweak this app, which opens up this screen here. This is where we'll be changing most of the options and customizing the program, including the ability to change the default file manager, default web browser, and set a Python directory for Python extensions and plugins for Flow Launcher. Then we have plugins, where we can toggle them on or off, the plugin store, which we'll be returning to in just a moment, the theme settings over here, which I've already picked Dracula from. You can choose from any of these here, or of course, add your own if you so wish. I just like Dracula, so that's what I'll be using. There are many options here already. Hotkey to change the default hotkey, as well as custom hotkeys down here. Set up a proxy, and finally the about section where we can check for updates, view the website, etc. For me, I'll head across to the plugin store and start adding some things here. First of all, the everything plugin. If you ever want to search your PC for anything, you should be using everything. Essentially, it's like the Windows search, but incredibly powerful and it searches everything instantaneously. There's no wait time. Heck, let me show you. 
everything. If I pull it up and search for, say, Steam, as I'm typing, it populates results here with zero latency. In fact, I have 6,000 responses here out of almost 4 million files on my PC that are indexed and listed. It's incredibly fast and really useful. So if I click it here and choose install, it'll simply pull up the command PM install everything. I can either click this or hit enter. And just like that, the plugin will be installed. Then if I search for a file, say Steam EXE, it'll search over here using everything, which is a lot faster than the default search system. Let's say about Spotify premium for the launcher. What can we do with this? Well, if we install it, we can choose to enable it. And after flow restarts, Typing in S, you'll see SP, activate Spotify premium plugin, LSP, then it says require authentication. Hit tab, enter, it'll pull up a new window where I can enable the Wox Spotify plugin. In this case, it's Flow Launcher, but it's still an older plugin. After enabling it, we can head back to the app, SP, and now it gives us results from Spotify as soon as we type SP. So of course you can set a hotkey for this, You'll see what you're now playing, pause, resume, next, etc. If I search for a name here, it'll come up with artists and I can use the arrow keys to get through them or I can click on them and I can interact with Spotify this way from one central place. But let's say you don't want to type SP every time you open up this window. What can we do? Well, opening up the settings once more, heading back to hotkey, we'll add a new hotkey here, maybe control alt space and we'll add SP as the query here, or SP space. As soon as we hit preview, you'll see what it comes up as, and I'm happy with this. So done. I'll clear out this, and now I can hit Control Alt Space, and just like that, it types in SP for me. I could maybe go Alt S space or something like that. That makes a bit more sense, but Control Alt Space works well for now. So from here on out, it's pretty much your customization. We can go and do anything from previewing hex colors to checking your IP address, converting currencies, launching putty SSH sessions, to-dos, search GitHub, search your Steam library, for example, search Twitch streams, quick uninstall programs, search for mods, toggle dark mode on Windows, GIFs, emojis, launch Epic Games games, and a ton of other things here. So it's a really cool and powerful tool. And of course, it's incredibly user customizable. You can add to it pretty much as you see fit. Just checking out the colors plugin, for example, I can put in a hash, followed by some numbers, and hey, there's a preview. And that's pretty much where I'll be leaving this video. You'll find links in the description down below. Hopefully you get some use from this tool, as it's really nifty. My name's been Techno, here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.